One of the biggest things that I get asked, even though I'm a real estate agent and not a lender, is what do I need to know or do about my credit? This is part one. Part one, we're gonna go over exactly what do you do to get better credit and how do you fix your current credit? Some of these are gonna be no brainers that you've already heard before. Like number one, keep a low balance on your credit cards. That doesn't mean zero. Actually, if you have 0%, if you've used 0% on your credit cards for over six months, it could hurt your credit. So you want it anywhere between 1% and 20%. Number two, set up automatic bill pay. Knowing that it's going to get taken out of your account anyway, and you don't have to worry about the mailman and sending in your payment, you don't have to worry about it taking like five days for the credit union to uh, accept your payment, just set yourself up on automatic bill pay and keep a calendar of when all of your bills are due. Number three, create a budget and pay more than the minimum on all of your debts. So first of all, figure out how much you actually can afford and try your absolute hardest to be paying more than the minimum. The minimum pretty much keeps your balance the same and you're just paying interest. So you wanna pay as much as possible every month. Number four, and a lot of people don't know this, do not close any of your credit accounts. If you have credit cards, if you have any other loans that are open or anything, do not close them. Credit history is so important. As soon as you close that account, it erases all of that credit history. Number five, for credit cards, use your credit card like a debit card. So if you're gonna put something on your debit card, let's say you're gonna go pay for gas and you would normally put it on your debit card. Put it on your credit card and then immediately pay it off. That boosts your credit every single time that you do that. So if you have the money to pay for it with a debit card, then just pay for it with your credit card and get the credit uh, score higher. Number six, which is my absolute favorite that I have ever learned. If you are someone with no credit history and credit history when you're buying a house is so important. If you have no credit history, let's say that you're only like 20, 21, 22, and you have no credit, the best way to all of a sudden get this fantastic credit history is ask your family members if they have any long-standing credit cards that have a zero balance or nearly a zero balance that have a long history. They've been open for a very long time. Let's say that um, your family has a Lowe's card, a Home Depot card, any like a Visa card that's pretty much paid off all the time. Ask your family to be put on as an authorized user, which means that you get all of the credit history. So if you're put on as an authorized user, let's say that the credit card has been open for 15 or 20 years, all of a sudden you have 15 or 20 years of credit history when you originally had absolutely none. But also make sure that that credit card doesn't have a lot of debt. Make sure that it's always been paid off on time. It doesn't even mean that you're going to use the card. Let's say that your parents are concerned putting you on the Home Depot card because they don't want you using it. Tell them, you know, I'm not going to be using the card. I just want to be on there for the credit history. And that will boost your credit and your history like crazy. Last one. If you're looking for your credit score, there are so many different... Um, places that you can go to look at your credit, like Credit Karma and anything like that, the best place to go is myfico.com. And here's why. Because you actually have 28 different credit scores. And here's why. TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian all have their own credit scores for you. One of them has 10 different scores for you and two of them have nine. Lots of them have glitches. So if you're going to a place like Credit Karma, you have no idea if that's actually accurate. Out of the three, the Equifax, the TransUnion, and the Experian, you can have completely different credit scores. Maybe you have 750 at one, you have 700 at the other, and you have 690 at the last one. When you go and get pre-approved for a mortgage, they pretty much just take the median. So you need to know exactly what your credit score is because let's say that you're only looking at Credit Karma, which is going to be your highest of the three credit scores. You think that you have this fantastic credit when in, really, in reality, it's actually much lower than that because it's taking the median of the three. You can completely eliminate the guessing game by just going to myfico.com. Now, it does cost a little bit of money every month or every time that you check it, but at least you know what your actual credit score is. And when you actually get your credit score from myfico.com, it does not count as a ding against your credit. It doesn't count as a credit pull, a credit draw that you normally would get if you were trying to get um, 
a loan for a car or a loan for a house or anything like that. So it's completely, it's completely ding free. If you have any more questions about your credit, how do you get your credit higher or anything like that? I'm going to continue to talk about this because there's so much more to do with credit and it's so important, especially for first time home buyers who are not experienced with credit whatsoever so that they know exactly what credit is. How do they get it higher? How do they make sure that they don't hurt their credit and everything in between? So watch the next video for that.